Hello and welcome to Aventoya Undalarad, the largest RV 4x4 show in the world. I believe they're now saying it's in Germany, it's the biggest, so maybe it's no longer in the world, don't know. Anyway, this is Tisha who make up these pickup cabins and uh, let's have a look at this one here to start off with. So, uh, if you want the vehicle, this is a Ford Ranger Limited Extra Cabin and that's the cost of 64,300. Uh, it starts at 53,062. Anyway, let's go into the uh, habitation area, which is the thing I sort of know a little bit more about. So this thing here, 44,000. So, uh, so 44 plus 64 and that's, there's your price for the whole thing. So it starts off at 36,000, but it's got these extra things in. The most expensive of which, note, a uh, lithium, uh, uh, lithium battery, 100 ampere hours, now 1,200 euros. Well, I, they have come down in cost. So, uh, be careful here not to make anything dirty. So that's, uh, oh. anyway, oh, certainly wouldn't want to make anything dirty in here. Now, isn't that rather attractive? Uh, so, We've got down here, so you've got the bed uh, at the top, but you can also make a bed down here as well. You've got up there your fridge, uh, wardrobe beside it. Uh, now, and hmm, I thought the boiler was down there, but I see there's no ventilation for it, so it can't be down there. So where's the boiler somewhere else? But anyways, that'd be storage in there. In here, we've got this shower and the sink will drop down so you can use the sink uh, after the toilet. So, but you, so you're either using the sink or the toilet, one or the other, unless you've had a particularly bad curry, in which case you might need them both at the same time. And in here we have got some more storage. Now the thing that stands to me though about this is the amount of space that it is offering and here of course we've got also the sink and here three burners you may be thinking hang on 2022 is two burners is the cool thing well maybe you wouldn't be allowing people to come in here to see your van and uh, yeah certainly lots of space in something like this great for doing a spot of off-roading uh, I'd imagine and uh, not being an off-roader myself I mean, I would be if I could, but I don't have the appropriate vehicle. Although having been here, it's made me sort of think that that mightn't be a, a bad idea at all. Although my fear would be, what happens when you break down in the middle of nowhere? Let's have a look at another one. And I'll stick the camera through here. We'll have a look at this one here. And this thing comes at a cost of cost of something it's probably or unless it's somebody's private vehicle it could be somebody's private vehicle who knows we'll just just stick this through the door and so I've got a much smaller one here uh, there's the toilet got the same oh this one's being used as well see somebody is using this well you have to sleep somewhere and so I won't be opening any cupboards or anything but and let's now, okay, let's have a look into this one here. And, oh. So, uh, also a smaller one. Oh, I don't like. So this thing is 27,500, box 200. But this thing here doesn't have the uh, doesn't have a shower. Presumably, the toilet will go down there in this cupboard down there. Uh, presumably, but for me, it would have to have a shower. That's absolutely essential. Particularly you now, you've got all this mud and all the rest that you bring in when you're doing a spot of off-roading. Right. Okay. Right. Oh dear, I've made that uh, a bit dirty. So. Uh, Let's have a walk around. You can see the, the, this, this box one, but this one over here definitely for me is the preferred option. And to be quite honest, there doesn't be much difference between the two in size. 
at all to my to my eye uh, in in form yes but not in size right um I'll, t I'll show you around a bit more whilst I'm here they not too much I'll show you around so I'll do this in other videos but okay right so you've got the main entrance here now this is October this event's normally held in uh, June May and June and so it's now it's October because of COVID and okay you get these wonderful colors of uh, autumn but at the same time you get the mud everywhere and even the main street here in Bad Kissingen it's covered in mud and uh, that, that's from the camp area from here and uh, so I can understand locals not being too happy about this being brought here. It's great for local businesses because this must, I would have thought, well, I don't know if I'm exaggerating when I say it doubles the population, but it's, let's say it adds an extra 50% on the population during the event or something like that. Um, so, so we've got the pickup cabins here that we've just seen. Uh, we've got these tent trailers as well here and uh, you've got some Toyotas uh, for example and uh, camper vans now the big expedition vehicles as well they're here um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'll have to show you that in a different uh, different video so okay there we have it Tisha pick up this one's on a Mercedes, but I like the Ford better. And uh, thanks for watching, and all the best from Bad Kissingen in Germany.